Anyway, coming to the stage is a brother from the Navajo Nation. Is there any Navajos out there? I, I kind of knew it. I could tell. I'm, I'm psychic. I could feel it. You're Navajo. We've never met. Is there anybody in your tribe named Yazi? <laughs> Of course, Navajos live next to the Hopi, and you know why the Hopis tie their headbands on the side? They got short arms. But, uh... <laughs> Our next performer, Navajo, Dene Nation, and he's uh, been in clubs all over the country, all over the city. He's also uh, a producer he puts together these uh, Indian comedy shows and everything. So let's welcome a big warm welcome for a good friend of mine, Mark Yappy. I was adopted at birth, and my birth mother actually found me when I was 25. She decided when it was my 25th birthday, obviously, she knew when I was born. She, uh, she wrote to me, I was working at uh, the DMV of all places. I used to give the driving tests, so I was that, I was that pissed off guy giving the test at DMV. And, uh, she found me, and uh, we connected. And, uh, and the next thing I know, I found out uh, found out I'm part Navajo. It's really weird because when I was growing up, my my um, my mom Lucy raised me. Her, her little uh, uh, little warning, like, hey, if you don't behave, we're gonna give you back to the Indians. And all these years, turns out uh, <laughs> she wasn't lying. Uh, my dad's uh, uh, Jewish, and my mom is uh, first generation Mexican American. A lot of confusion growing up, you know. Uh, so I grew up with Mexicans and Jews. It's awesome. It's uh, bar mitzvahs and, and bar fights. Yeah, I'm looking braids. There you go. Been married uh, 20 years. Yeah, still married. Neither one of us wants custody of the kids. It was really powerful when I had my daughters, you know. And my wife, you know, she did all the work. But you know, it's just to, to have that that connection. It's uh, it's really touches people too. People find out you're adopted. You, I've met so many, uh, especially Native folks who were raised, you know, just ad adopted out. This is back before the Indian Child Welfare Act laws that could restrict people, and it's, you have to sign like your life away. Now, uh, if if you're going to uh, let a child be adopted outside of the tribe, it's a very difficult process, and it's you know, it's, it's a good thing, you know, because the numbers we don't have that many Natives. But uh, you know, I didn't know anything different. To me, it was all normal. You know, to my grandmother, my Jewish grandmother, they call her Bubby. You know, go there and have locks and bagels, and then in the afternoon we're all eating, you know, tamales or whatever, you know, beans and rice. And it was just, I don't know, it was just normal. It was, it was kind of nice to have that. Uh, it was a good balance. I mean, I wish I could have known a little bit more about my Native roots. You know, they had me dressed up as a little cowboy all the time. That was, you know, I look back now as like the worst Native American crossdresser ever. Natives in the house, we are gonna party like it's 1491. Let's go, people. All right, hey, give it up for me, Mexican, Irish, Navajo, Mexaho. Or as I'm known on racial surveys, other. We got any other others? Any other Mexahos? Huh? How about uh, Aztec Navajos? Any Azhos? <laughs> Screw it. Do we have any hoes here tonight? Where are the hoes? <laughs> I did that line in San Francisco. Eight Asian folks jumped up in the club. Ho family! <laughs> Eight ho here for the show. <laughs> Get up for Navajo, the largest nation, 200,000 strong. Come on, make some noise. Yep. 200,000 Navajos, eight last names. <laughs> you ever looked at a Navajo phone book? You're on page 89, you're still on the Begays. <laughs> yeah, drive through the res sometime, listen to a high school basketball game. Begay to Sosi, Sosi to Begay, to Begay to Yazi, Yazi back to Begay, blocked by Begay. <laughs> Yeah, I did not. I did not grow up on the reservation. I uh, never met my birth father. Uh, runs from responsibility. <laughs> Adopted at birth by a Jewish father and a Mexican mother. I'm an adopt a hoe. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Jewish father, Navajo son. That makes me a bargain hunter gatherer. <laughs> And it's tradition in the Jewish religion, the males, you gotta get the circumcision, or as we call it at Tribal Health, the tomahawk chop. <laughs> People will know if I'm offended. Remember they used to do that nonsense at the Braves games, that tomahawk chop bullshit? I mean, 
Mark, you offended by that? I'm like, I don't care. As long as you know my native folks doing the wave when you lose in an Indian casino. <laughs> Didn't even find out it was Navajo until I was 25. 25, all those years growing up playing cowboys and Indians, I was suiting up for the wrong team. <laughs> Oh, man, it's true, though. I'm actually illegal. You know, you cannot adopt an Indian child from their tribe. They passed that law to protect our people from Angelina Jolie. <laughs> and, you know, you don't even have to be a full blood. You'd be quarter, a six. People think you're even part native. You got mystical powers. And, yeah. This lady asked me after a show. She goes, Mark, is it true you Navajos in your travels, you're guided by outer voices? Uh, yeah, it's called an on-star navigation system. <laughs> Gee, do a lot of casinos. I'm the only Indian still losing money in casinos. I suck. <laughs> we were playing blackjack the other day at a, at a casino in North Dakota. They had this little Vietnamese uh, blackjack dealer. Her name was uh, Soon You Lose. <laughs> now they're featured in the, in this, in the uh, casinos. You see these celebrity slot machines? You seen these? They got a, I've seen a Jeff Foxworthy slot machine. They got a Clint Eastwood slot machine. Uh, they need a Dr. Phil slot machine. <laughs> Every time you lose, you'll be like, what were you thinking? <laughs> if we're gonna have celebrity themed slot machines, we need native themed slot machines. I wanna go into Indian casino, see a video poker machine, Custer's last hand. <laughs> Payback's a bitch. <laughs> Get back here, we're not even yet. <laughs> What we need, though, at every Indian casino are native hypnotists. You should walk, really, you should walk at every Indian casino and be like, white people, you're getting very sleepy, very sleepy. <laughs> you will give back all of the land. <laughs> at our blackjack tables, you will split threes against a dealer's ten. <laughs> and you will stop claiming that your grandmother is a Cherokee Indian princess. <laughs> Um, hey, it is actually great to be back here in uh, northern Mexico, or as the rest of the country calls it, Los Angeles. <laughs> yeah, L.A. now stands for lacking Anglos. <laughs> <laughs> they got a proposal now in Congress. They want to build a 2,000-mile-long wall between the U.S. and Mexico, 20 feet high. You build a 20-foot-high wall between the U.S. and Mexico, Mexico will become the largest producer of 21-foot extension ladders. <laughs> And pole vaulting can be the new national sport. <laughs> you know a 20-foot wall ain't gonna stop shit. 3,000 miles of shark-infested waters and a leaky boat didn't stop the pilgrims. <laughs> or as I like to call it, the worst surprise costume party ever. <laughs> did, did you hear about this one? The Supreme Court ruled that the KKK, the Ku Klux Klan, can adopt a highway for litter removal. That would be one scary road to get caught drinking and driving. <laughs> Cop pulls you out of your car, like, oh, geez, officer, I don't know what happened back there. I was just driving along. I, uh, I hit a big white cone. <laughs> That's it. That's what makes us great is diversity. Look at our television networks now. Almost every group has their own network. Black folks have BET. Shoppers have QVC. Mexican, Irish, Navajos. We've got Court TV. <laughs> it's time for all Native American television network. We're going to call that TP TV. We have shows like Survivor Reservation, <laughs> Wheel of Misfortune, <laughs> Whose Land Is It Anyway? <laughs> I'm Mark Yab, you guys have been great. Thank you very much. Thank you.